Hi, here's the Sudoku guy. We are now starting to do some really interesting new techniques. And on this lesson, we're going to show you how to watch out for three numbers in a line, either vertical or horizontal, within a block. We're going to show you where you can put three little numbers in a line within a block, but nowhere else. And we're going to show you how to take one number out of three blocks and work out other small numbers in the other two blocks. So there's lots in this lesson. So here goes. First step, we're going to look for the ones on the horizontal. For I'm assuming now that you know what the top, middle, bottom is and left, center, right. So they're no longer going to be here to give you a clue. The ones, well, we have one one. Okay, twos. Only one two. Threes, we have the threes already. Fours, we only have one four. Fives, we don't have any fives. Sixes, we have the sixes already in place. Seven, only one seven. Eight, there's two eights. There's a one in this block. There's one in this block, a middle and a bottom. So this eight must be in the top of this block. And there's only one place for it to go. So there, oops, there it goes. I did the wrong end of the of the stick here. Okay, <laughs> put it, use black, it's easier for you to read. Here we go. Eight. Okay, nines. There's only one nine. So therefore we go to these three blocks. We have two ones, top, bottom, it has to be in the middle. Now if I look across here, we could have one, 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 but if I look up here, that cancels that one out. If I look here, this one cancels that one out, so the only place a one can go is there. Twos. Well, here's a top, here's a middle. This one has to be in the bottom. That was easy. Threes. There are no threes. Fours. There's only one four. Fives. There's only one five. Sixes. There's no sixes. Sevens. There's only one seven. Eights. There's two eights. There's a bottom. There's a middle. This one has to be in the top, so there it goes. Nines. We only have one nine, so guess what? We're now onto the third uh, set of horizontal blocks. Here we have a one. There we have a one. Bottom, middle, has to be that one, the top, right there. Twos. No twos. But we have two fives, a middle, a top, so we put them here as a five and a five, and then we look up. Are there any fives up in here? No, there's not. Leave them right they are. Sixes. Here we go, a bottom, a middle. A six has to be in here, but it can't be there because of that six. So it can be here or here because there's no sixes in those columns. So a six goes there and there. Sevens. Well, we have a top here. We have a bottom here. This one has to go there or there. Now have a look at this. Can't go there because of that seven, so it has to go there. Okay, eights. There's only one eight. And nines, I think there's only one nine. So now we do vertical blocks. Let's do the ones. We have a right, we have a left, and we have a center. It could be there or there, but let's look across. Look, if we cross there, there's a one, so that cancels that one out, so this has to be the one. Twos. We have two twos. We have a two here on the right, a two in the center, and we could have a two, two, and a two here. So we'll put in, this is, this is the first time I'm going to explain this for something new. Here, two could go in any of these three cells, but because they are in a line within a block, we can put three twos in, okay? Um, we don't know which one it's going to be yet, so put the little numbers in. Threes. Let's have a look. We have a three here, and we have a three here, so it's a left and a center, so the three has to be over here in this block, in this spot here, and it's just there and there. Okay, fours. We have one four. Well, hmm. Well, we need a bit more information. But there, is, I can tell you how we can do this, but we'll do that in a future lesson. Fives. Now this is a very important thing I'm going to explain to you. A five, we've only got one five. However, if we put it 
there and there, we cannot do it that way because there's no room for a five on the left. This is a right, center, left, no room there. That line of three stops you from doing that. So you cannot have a five there or there. It must be there because there's room for it to go up there. So here we go. We put a five. So there's one, the first example of how one number can help you get the other numbers in the other blocks. So that's a five. That's important to know. Now let's take a six. We've got a six here. We've got a sixes down in here. Uh, we know we can't put a six in there. So the only other two places in this block for a six is there and there. Now that's very important because using right, center and left, we know that sixes have to be in here, in this section of this block. But when I look across here, you could say, well, six, six, six all the way down, but there's a six here, so that cancels out a six here. There's a six here, so this cancels out a six here. So that's the only place a six can go, so we put a six, big six in there. Now we did that because we understood that that's the only two places a six can go in this block. So they can't go here because there's a six there. And this is the way in which you can use just one number to get other little numbers and big numbers. Okay, sevens. Well, we have two sevens, a center, a left, so this becomes a seven. Well, that's already completed that box. Eights. We have two eights, and we have an eight here on the left, right. It has to be in the center, so this is no longer six because we've got our six. That becomes the eight. Now we have a line there too. Okay, now, nines. Let's look at the nines. We only have one nine, but now I'm going to do the same thing as we did for the sixes here. Yes, we only have one nine, but you know you can't have a nine in here in this block. It has to be over here. It should be there or there. Okay, but let's very briefly, we put it there. It looks like a matching pair, which it is, but Look over here, we have a nine. So that changes things immediately. This becomes the three, and this becomes the nine. Now we have a nine possible down in here. We have a two nine and a two nine. Middle, right, left. But I want to show you something here. This nine could be we could do it, use what we call ramifications. Can we? We really can't yet. Okay, what about the nine that we put in here? Can we do ramifications of that one? I think we can. We have a nine there, we have a nine there. One of these two has got to be a nine. Okay, fine. What else ramifications can we get from those numbers that we got? Seven. No, there's no luck there. Um, eights. We, eight, eight. Eight, we've got the eights there. What other new numbers did we get? Five, five. Well, I can tell you something here. This is so important. That five means you can't have a five there and there. And in this block, the only place a five can go is there or there. Now that's really important and you'll see why later. Okay, sixes we did, six, six, six. Let me see, I'm just making sure that we covered all the ramifications of those. Right, I think we have. So let's push on to this column. We have ones, we have a one here, we have a one here. The only place for a one is there. And you can check that out. We have a one, 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 that, that fits. Twos, we only have one, two, leave it. Threes, we have a three here and we have a three here. Now this is an important thing to do. Because we have a left and we have a right, we have a three here, so we can only put a little three in there and there, because there's no other threes along this way, there's no other threes along this way. Fours, there's no fours, well I never. Fives, now comes to what I was saying before. We um, have a choice here. We can do a five here or here, but if you've got two fives there, it's gonna be one of those, so it can't be there. Just for fun, I'm going to show you a neat trick here. This row, we know how to handle this row. What's left in that row? One, there's a two left, and three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Two nine and a two nine? They're, they're a matching pair. If that's a two nine and a two nine, this is a two here. Look at that two. That means it cancels out that two. So this becomes a nine and therefore this becomes a two. Now let's look at these fives again and you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. These fives, we can have, we cannot have a five in the middle here, anywhere. Because if it is in the middle, this line of three numbers stops it from happening. There's no room for it. So the only place for a five to go, therefore, is over here. And that's important to understand. When you have a five here, you cannot have a five here because, or well you can't have it there because it's in the same column, you can't have a five there because, anywhere there, because that line stops it from going over to the left. Remember, right, center, left. No room for it. So it goes right, left, center. New concept, but very valuable to know. Okay, sixes. We have a six here, and we have a six here, so we could have a six in the, each, each one of these. Yes, it can, it's in a line within a block. You can do that. Sevens. Well, this is interesting. We could have a seven somewhere in here, but wonder where. Well, let's find out. We'll give ourselves a clue. There's a six here and a six here. What's the other number that could be there? One, two, three four, five, six, it's got to be a seven. So if I do that, now, let's see what happens. Six, seven is a matching pair. That could be a seven, but that cannot be a seven. So here's one example where we can have a, a seven, a three numbers, but no more. That's it. Okay, um, eight. Here's an 8 on the left, 8. One of these is an 8. It cannot be there because of that 8, so it goes there. Very good. 9. We have a 9 on the left, 9 on the right. The center, it has to be in the center. There it goes there. What has that ramification got? This 9 means that this becomes a 2, and this becomes a 9. What's the ramification of that? Let's have a look. Well, we've got the twos are already in place. The two here, we don't know about, we don't know where else we can go, but we know we can't put a two there because we've already got a two. In this block, there is only two spots for the two and it cannot go there, so it must, by logic, go there. Now, this is interesting because when we look very quickly, we've got several gaps that we can fill in. This block has only got one left. This block has only got one left. This column has only got one left. So let's fill it in while we see the opportunity. This is a one, two, three, uh, four. This column needs a four. Okay, does that have any ramifications? Well, guess what? In this block, the only one that's missing is a four. One, two, three, four. This has to be a four. So we filled in that block and that column. We've got this column filled, as, filled in as well. Now this column has only got one left. Wonder what that is. One, two, three. It's also a four, I believe. Is that correct? It's also a four. Okay. If it's also a four, uh, we put it in. Now what's the ramification of that four? We go four, four. This one here has to be a four. Okay, but did you realize we have a seven here already? That means that this has to be a six. I didn't see that before. Okay, so that becomes a six. If that becomes a six, this becomes a seven. And therefore you can cancel out this seven and we finish up with a matching three, six, three, six matching pair. That's going to be helpful later on. And while we're at it, this is an interesting situation because here we could have two matching pairs. Here's a four, here's a four, left, right. Could four has to go in there. We can put a four or five in there if we want to and make it a. So whenever you see two cells left in a row, column or block, 
work on them. Now we were up to eights here and now we did the nines. Now we're ready to do the vertical columns over here. Ones are all done. Twos, we only have twos. Well now, this is interesting. Two, two, two. We only have two, one, two. I think we'll go on to threes. Here's two, there's a three here on the left. Here's a three here in the center. The three has to go over here. Now look what the ramification of that is. Watch here closely. That three will cancel out this three. So therefore, this becomes a six. Okay, that six now is no longer needed. So this becomes a three. And we've completed a block, just like that. Okay, let's test this out. Three, 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 yeah. Six, six. Now, as you can, six can go down in here because that is a six, nine matching pair. Now, that six, top, middle, has to go in here somewhere. Now, let's look up. Let's look up here. Oh, there's a six there. So that cancels that six out. So this becomes a nine and this becomes a six. Now that block has only got one left. I wonder what it is. Let's have a, let's have a check. A one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. It's a seven. And we can check that out by looking up here, bottom, middle, top, bottom. That's correct. Here we have a left, center. A seven has to be up here. Now it can't be in one of those two, but it can't be there because of this seven. So this becomes your seven. Okay, now let me show you another really neat trick. Because this row has only got two cells left, it has to be a matching pair, so this becomes a four or five matching pair. Well, look at all these matching pairs, neat. And the further you go in this course, the more matching pairs you see become very valuable. Okay. What have we got left now? Let me see. Down here on this row, we've only got one left. One, two. It's a two. It goes in there. If that's a two, okay, let me just check, make sure it's all correct. If that's a two, it goes in that line, which it does. So we have a center, we have a right. The two has to go there. Very good. Now, we've got two fives in here. wonder what the other number is. I think it's a four. I can't see a four in here, so we put a four, four, five, four, five matching pair, but now let's look up. Whoops. Wow, there's a four. So that changes the scenario very quickly. This becomes a five, and that becomes a four. Now let's go to the next step. Let's look at, the, we just put a four in. This, let's see what the ramifications are. That's the center, that's the left, up here, it has to be there, which cancels out this four, which makes that four a five. If that, by doing that, that makes this a four. And that makes this a five. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. It's neat. Now we only have one left in this row. What does the number see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. There's only a nine, nine you can load left in there, a nine. And we've completed that. And I believe, wacko, we've completed this puzzle. What have we done? We have looked at being the, always look for when there's a line of numbers within a block. We can always look to see where we have only just one number out of three blocks, but that will lead us to other little numbers and big numbers sometimes. And so we've learned a lot in this process. One more thing we've learned, remember the two, two, two down in here? Yes, you can do that with little numbers if it's within a block and if it's in a line. And that's it for today's lesson. Next lesson, we go further on. Bye for now.